Today we have our native fish in the classroom releasing the natives event. Students from three schools, Sandia Preparatory, Via Vista Elementary, and Matheson Park Elementary have been raising Rio Grande cutthroats since January in their classrooms and today they got to come up to the Rio Grande Gorge and release their fish. And you're going to put your bucket next to the water uh -huh. and then slowly pour it out and watch them swim away. There they go. It's all part of Trout in the Classroom program which has a curriculum that the teachers and students can use. And um, we have some stations here today to, to help the kids enjoy their day as, after they release their fish. They're learning how to cast. They're learning about uh, fish food in the river, um, the different insects that live in the river. They found those down there. Just the other day I, I asked him, what do you remember learning in fifth grade? And all of the kids mentioned the fish. And, you know, I, that was just for me to see what they remembered or what was interesting to them. And everybody remembered the fish. And um, different students engage in it to different degrees. Some students were very involved. I made sure all the kids got a little bit involved, but some really took it upon themselves to, you know, take advantage completely of the opportunity. <laughs> So we're going to step right here. Yeah. So then you're going to put your bucket close to the water. Like that? Yep, and slowly pour them out. And there they go. Look at them. Cool. Good job. Hands-on type of uh, activity. They really get to see the fish up close. They get a chance to observe the fish and really have an interaction with it. They're responsible for the water quality of the aquarium and they're responsible for actually taking care of the fish and feeding them and making sure they keep them healthy. So it gives them a more of an investment in, in learning about their biology and taking care of them. Bend over, pour it out real slow. You can see them go one by one. Bob Curtis was most of the outgoing one. Yeah. He was like, Kind of in the open water. He's so a food that, fish. Yeah. <laughs> he would always get the most food. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. He would, chase, he would chase the little fishes away, so yeah. And then, like, we learned that, like, they have different, like, territories. So if they, go, like, if another fish goes in the territory, then they just start, yeah. like, they own the territory. Yeah. So it's their territory. I was, like, happy for them, but then I was, like, scared for them because it's, like, a bigger area. I was happy that they're going to go live in a big old open space. And, and they're not going to, they're going to probably get more food than we feed them. So, so it's survival and then. There they go. Say bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, good job. We are supporting actually 12 uh, trout in the classroom programs at different schools around the state. And we have the help of Trout Unlimited volunteers. One particular volunteer, John Wright, is very busy with some of the schools. And then we have Brad Ryan, our conservation officer out of Raton, and uh, Clint, uh, excuse me, Brad Ryan's from Farmington, and Clint Henson is from uh, Raton. And they're supporting the teachers. Uh, they go in and help if there's a problem with pH. They're always there. Our officers are always there at the site. Uh, on release date when the when the students release their fish, so um, we think it's a fabulous program. The kids are learning biology, they're learning about chemistry, and they're doing something that relates to real world, uh, a real work, real world career. Um, it was just a good time having them. Yeah, it was fun to be scientists, learning what they do, and yeah. Do you recommend other kids do it in their classrooms? Yeah, yes. it's really good fun. Take care of them because it teaches you responsibility. You yeah. have to feed them or you remember to feed them. Or like if you had goldfish, you would probably forget. <laughs> <laughs> but this, you have more fish, so more responsibility. responsibility. Bye bye, trout. Bye bye, aquatic friends. We hope we'll see you when you're swimming down the stream. You're swimming down the stream. There go our piglings, they're doing fine. And now they're looking for a place to dine.